Learn how you can easily apply formats in Google Docs by using paragraph styles. In our document, we currently only have normal text paragraph style applied, but let's add a little bit of structure to it to format it, make it look a bit more interesting. So we're going to add the title to this. This is the paragraph style of title. Now here you see already some default formatting, like with the colors we use at our organization. So this is based on organization for you. It might look a little bit different, but you can go ahead and tweak that if you want to. Like you see in this case, I wanted the title to be somewhat bigger, a space there between the title and subtitle. And you can apply styles, but you can still also change them. And here we can apply the heading and see that shortcut. Now I'm on a Mac, so that's the shortcut for that on a Windows computer will be differently. Just applying heading one, then heading two. And how many headings do you have? How many levels? Let's have a look. You have up to six. That's the maximum you can choose. Here we have heading two. We can apply it like so. And there we're going to apply a heading one again. So this is just structuring or, you know, using the paragraph styles to structure a document. Now here at the bottom, let me go back down. I see a lot of uh, spaces of paragraphs I won't be needing. Sadly, currently in Google Docs, you can't make the paragraphs visible. So I don't know how many paragraphs are there. I just am um, clicking on delete on my keyboard to get rid of that until I'm back on the previous page. And now we're going to insert a table of contents because once you apply headings, you can choose from one of these two table of contents. I chose the one with the numbers and this is only available. And the same goes for the document outline. When you have these paragraph styles of like heading one, two, three, and so on. This I want to make a bit bigger bolded. So, you know, you can still tweak those paragraph styles if you want to, but simply applying them like the headings here already gave the document a structure. What happens if we push this down to a second or to the next page? What happens to our table of contents? How do we update it? Click in it and then hit that update and you're good to go. Now, what about if I want to change this heading and I have lots of heading ones. I want to give it this funky font. Well, what I do now is I say update heading one to match and bam, it goes and updates all of my heading ones in this document, which is a super cool feature because it's fast. And how about numbered headings? What I'm showing you here is a little hack, how you can apply a list, a numbered list. And now here we want to make it look like it's a chapter. So we have to say continue previous numbering and that again will um, align this differently. So I have to fix that quickly. So we're making this look like numbered headings because they don't actually exist in Google Docs. But the problem is that does not reflect in a table of contents. But just in case you need that hack, now you know how you could do it. Don't go anywhere right yet. That is, unless you've already clicked the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of these future video tutorials. If you've clicked, then you can go.